that's how I wanted to explain, like, rather than looking at Putin as, uh, uh, and this, this isn't certainly any more comfort, <laughs> but rather than looking at Putin as whether he's an imperialist or, you know, what, as if we're on his mind all the time, he's actually, what's on his mind is his domestic power, as any, mm-hmm. and, and that means, and you can see his, the way he has been acting in Ukraine, taking Crimea, just taking it, um, you know, it's very different from the way he, from, from the way he acted in previous crises, uh, let's say from 2000 to 2008. He was a lot more reserved, I would say, and he had one eye definitely on the West in a much bigger way. Now he's sort of, he's, he's doing the sorts of things that, uh, that the silent majority of the red state Russians would like to see done. Um, they're sick and tired of um, having been pushed around by the West, having been humiliated, having liberals tell them what should be done, having, you know, every country around them hating them, so on and so forth. Um, and, uh, and so he's, he's, he's much more aggressive this time around and not as concerned with sort of Western dominated international norms, let's say. Um, they're doing it their way now. Well, then, in the situation you described, Mark, uh, Mark Ames, it sounds like what we're doing diplomatically and some of the other posturing we've done rhetorically, uh, not to mention, you know, whether it's military exercises in Poland or whatever, it sounds like we're probably making the situation even worse or, or provoking more of a spirit of confrontation. Is that something, is that right? I, I absolutely think so. And, you know, I, I would say... Let's reapply that back to ourselves as well. I'd say part of that is has to do with our own domestic politics. Um, you know, uh, one guy doesn't want to look weak uh, to Putin because of you know the next elections and the way the other guy might use that. I mean, how much of what we're doing is driven purely by the science of diplomacy and global you know global diplomacy, and how much of it is driven by our own domestic political considerations?